Hi guys, my name is Lanre Ilori. I am the CEO of Wigs by Lanre. And today I'm going to be showing you how to use accessories that I will soon be selling and how to lay your wig down without using glue. I don't personally like using glue on my wigs, so I'm just gonna teach you guys how to do that. Okay guys, so right now I'm just showing you the wig grip and this one has the lace in the front. This is the one I'm gonna be selling. For some reason they don't really have the other ones um, as much anymore. So this is the other one. This is the one I actually use, but the one I'm going to be selling is the first one. So it's kind of optional which one you want. So right now, that this is basically going to be on all wigs that I sell. It's just an adjustable band. When I ask for your measurements, I basically ask for how long your temple to temple, and this determines how I cut it. And so this is just to adjust it so you can make it tighter and it can hold the wig well. And so right now, I'm just putting the wig grip on so you can put the cap on and you put the wig grip a little bit after your baby hair not on your hairline so just so, so that the lay can lay lace can lay in front of it and you want this side that i'm showing you right now to be on the right side you want to make sure it's on the right side because if you don't place it correctly it will not hold the wig grip so you just take the elastic band that will be on all my wigs and put it on doesn't matter where you put it on you can you can put it on top of the wig grip like that I'm just like show, going around to show you and then you just place it on and then adjust it as you want so you move the front yep, you move that to the front and you move this side to the front this is a 5x5 five five closure if you're not aware and yeah, I, I am going to be selling those. And so you just take a mousse. I'm going to be selling mousse too. Everything's going to be on my website. I don't know if I'm going to be selling this comb. But this is just an edge tamer comb. You can get it off Amazon. But I might consider selling those too. But we'll see. So you just use the mousse to kind of tame your baby hair. If you want baby hairs. You can use alligator clips, which I do later on. I don't know why I was making it difficult for myself. But... Yeah, you can just use the mousse. You put a lot of mousse to tame your baby hair. Yep, and that I just find this. I don't even know where I found out this cream. Yeah, see, you can just use alligator clips. Um, I don't know where I found that that comb, but that comb is very beneficial to having baby if you want to have baby ears. And then this thing on my neck is basically a wig slayer. I will be having those on my website when it launches. So stay tuned for that. I'm going to be having two sizes. I'm going to have the small size and I'm going to have a bigger size. So yeah, I'm going to put all the dimensions when I do sell them. So you want to use that to basically lay the baby hair down and, and you're going to lay it on your lace and the baby hair so it can really really melt your lace you know you want that what lace kind of look you know what i'm saying so you're not going to be able to see that you have lace on and you can leave it for 10 minutes and this time you can do your makeup and so this is after 10 minutes you just basically take it off do you see that melt where's the lace where is the lace so for the lace to kind of fit your skin tone, you can use like a foundation. I had a tip from a friend where you can use foundations, two shades, a shade lighter, or you can just use lace tints. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be selling those. You see, like you see how laid that wig is, like because of the wig grip, the wig is not moving anywhere. Like it really holds your wig grip. So I, and I'm flipping, I'm trying to show you guys. There is no movement of the wig. I mean, when you put it up, you're going to see the movement, but, and you can see the back. Yep. No movement because of the wig grip. That wig grip really holds it. So right now I'm just showing you another um, wig. This is basically a front, a frontal. Yes, this is a frontal. This wig is not my me. This one has adjustable um, bands, but it's not, a, it's not a frontal. It's a frontal wig. So I'm using the same band I use and put the wig grip right in front of your head. Or you can just use this one. This is the one I'm going to be selling on my website. So you can put that lace where you want your wig grip to show and where you want your parting to show. And like I said, make sure the wig, the longer side is on the right side and just put it there. And just like, it's a Velcro. So you can just paste it on there, put your wig on. 
just adjust it a little bit. And then take it back. Adjust it and then take it back. So, yeah, so I don't like to glue my wigs down. So you never really see the sides, so I just kind of hide the sides. But the front, I find a way to lay it down. So you take a mousse again, and then use it to lay whatever you want to use to lay, like the baby hairs, whatever you want to, to be laid down. Yeah, so I'm just like laying my baby hairs down. You can just lay the baby hair down. Well, if you don't want baby hair, you don't have to have baby hair. And just lay whatever is closest to that place down and so to, to lay the sides i'm just using this small you know section of hair and just putting mousse on it normally you don't see the sides but most people like their frontal to be laid down with glue but i don't really glue mine i just don't like glue <laughs> it took me a while to grow back my baby hair so i don't really do anymore this is the edge slayer that's what it's probably going to be called on my website Look out for that alligator clips very important in application and so you want to make sure the edge slayer lays everything you've laid down so you want to make sure you put it on top of it and on the lace also I like to put it in the front because some, if you put it in the back sometimes it just catches because of the velcro part it catches on the hair so I feel like it's much easier for me to put it in the front than in the back I don't know what I'm doing with my tongue guys that's just something I've done as a kid I'm sorry <laughs> I like to play with my front seats I think that I like to play with my front seats so that yeah so you leave this on for 10 minutes and kind of do whatever you need to do and after 10 minutes, you take it off. And voila! Where is the lace? Well, I mean, with this one, you can kind of see the lace, but you can't really. If you blend it more, you can probably not see it. See, so then I like to put. Yeah, I like to put um, my one thing, but so I'm just showing you that with the wig grip, it doesn't really move, and you can't see the wig grip. So, yeah, that's the one I'm gonna be selling. The one I just put on the wig grip, I put on that's what I'm gonna be selling. So, thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope this was helpful when it comes to placing down your wigs, um, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.